Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 36 of our FTB Ocean Block Let's Play series, where today we are working on a couple more Batania automations, getting ourselves some new tools and stuff, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so continuing from last episode, I we lost all of those recipes. No idea what the heck happened. I had to restore my backup. Luckily, FTB backups takes a backup every, I think it's like every two hours by default. So I had to restore my backup from two hours ago. Um, and then I just, I just finished resetting this whole thing up. Um, and yeah, we're uh, doing the thing. So I got this reset up there. I fixed the fluorite and then we're, we're, we're just continuing where we were. No idea what happened. Reloading the world didn't fix it. Th those recipes literally all just deleted themselves. Um, I, I, I can go back and look at the logs in a bit, but uh, I just don't have the time at the moment to parse through them and see, try and find out what the heck happened. Um, but anyway, so we're back over here and you can see the vacuumulator's gone because, uh, well, it wasn't working well for us. So I went ahead and made the hopper hawk. We were talking about it last episode. Super simple to make. We just need a rune of air. Um, so I taught the system how to make rune of air or runes of air. We don't have the fire and water because I haven't taught it how to make those again. So I made the runes of air uh, and made the hopper hawk. So the way that the hopper hawk works, oh, and I also made it floating. If you don't know, floating variants of any of the Batania stuff, it's super easy to make. It just requires uh, a glimmering flower, which is just any kind of flower with glowstone dust, a pasture seed, which is grass thrown into a mana pool, and then a piece of dirt, and that will make a floating flower. And then you combine like the, the hopper hawk with that floating flower, and it'll make a floating hopper hawk. The reason you want to make it floating is because it doesn't require grass. You don't have to put it down on grass. You can just put it down as is and it will do its thing. Now, the hopper hawk is essentially a vacuum hopper. It'll pick things up off the ground for you. It'll do all of, you know, that thing. Um, and it'll place it into an adjacent inventory. So if I were to drop some stone bricks, it should, in theory, pick up those stone bricks and put them into the chest. Um, and it's actually picking up the coal, which is fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean not. So we need to get an item frame. Uh, I already had it queued up. And we're going to grab the coal. And it's just going to keep picking it up, so it's fine. If you want to filter the hopper hawk, which is what we're doing right now, you can do so by right-clicking with your, um, or shift right-clicking with your wand of the forest. So right now, it is set to pick up only items in frames. And since there's no frames on your adjacent inventory, it's going to pick up everything. What you can do is... Um, put it into function mode, shift right click, and it'll say pick up only items not in frames, which is what we want it to do. So we're gonna take some item frames and we're gonna put them here and uh, I guess here. And yeah, and then we can put a importer on the top. And what we're gonna do is uh, apparently living rock is gonna get added to this, but so is blocks of coal. So now the blocks of coal is no long, are no longer going to get picked up. So we can go ahead and put those back over here. I reset this guy up too. So now the block of coal won't get picked up. You can also shrink the range of the hopper hawk if we were to make a petite floating hopper hawk. Um, and that will make it just do its thing smaller. But I didn't make a petite one initially, which requires a catalyst. So I don't know. If you can't undo the floating. Like I can't turn it back into its two, its requisite items. So we're kind of sort of out of luck. I can change it to something else if I wanted to, but at this point, what's done is done. And so it's going to pick up all items in this area, and we really don't have a way, any way to super stop that. Probably should have made the petite version, but it is what it is. We're done with it at this point. Um, so let's go ahead and get an importer. If I need to in the future, I can make another one. Like, it's not, it's not too big of a deal. Um, so let's grab an importer. Let's get some cables. We're going to take the importer, put it on the top of this chest, and then cable over we could put an ender chest here too but since we have to have refined storage for this anyway it doesn't really matter so now it'll automatically do the thing so if i ask for rune of air it should drop everything it's not going to pick up the living rock and it's not going to be fast enough to pick up the other stuff we should not have an issue like we were having before with the vacuumulator um i'm out of mana steel because i didn't teach the system how to make mana steel Let's try this again. So we're going to request request rune of air, and then we're going to do another request for rune of air. 
or I could have just requested two. It's the same same thing. But I want to see that it's not going to pick up all the items after it drops. It'll pick up the runes. Bam. But since those the the carpet and stuff's going to get added to this guy's inventory, it should be fine. Yes. Okay, cool. And the runes should have ended up in our system. Sweet. So it works. And we don't have to worry about that. We can teach the system how to make all of the different runes, which is what I was going to do in between episodes. But as you all know, that did not work out for me at all. Uh, let's teach the system how to make mana steel real quick. I don't know what could have caused that. I'm going to scroll through this slower. I'm afraid that's what caused it. I'm afraid it's this recipe that's not rendering. That is That was the cause for it. Um, I don't know. Actually, you know what I want to do is real quick. Let's do FTB backups start. So that way I have one after this has already been done because I don't want to make it again. I don't want to I don't want to do all of this for a third time. So, yeah, we have it set up there, so we should be good to go. And that is this guy automated uh, runic altar, fully automated, working now correctly. Now, we also have the option to automate since we have this here. We could we could set up an automation for like mana steel and for things such as that. What do you all think? Let's let's do that. So like if we or like a mana powder, mana powder, though, question, can you be made with? No. OK, I was going to say, can you be made with a mana steel essence? You literally are only good for making mana steel ingots. So we don't have to worry about the mana steel ingots. But all of these guys, it would be nice to automate them. Let's see how we can do that. So let's go ahead and get ourselves another open crate. Um. Living wood planks. I was like, how are we out of living wood? We can just make a bunch of that open crate. We're going to set this guy above the this. How did you get coal in you? Wait, where's coal coming from? Uh, Excuse me? You should not be picking up coal. Oh, is it is it picking up the coal and then... Oh, my goodness. And since this doesn't have the thing... All right. All right. All right, buddy, let's put you there. OK, now you can't drop the coal because I don't have a filter on this one for coal and it's an attached inventory. It was picking up the coal. Could I filter it again so we can have it there? Yes. Uh, is it going to be necessary? We'll find out. Um, OK, so we have this here. Let's get another chest. And this one doesn't need to be set on redstone poles, so we can set this here. Let's get another crafter. And to be honest, do we need a chest? Can we craft her straight into the open crate? Good question. We're going to find out. Uh, let's set this up to... Um, I guess we're going to call this one Mana Crafting. Is that a, is that a fair name for this? Uh, mana Crafter? Always scares me when that happens. Um, let's set this guy up to be attached to here. And this should actually be pretty easy to do. And it's utilizing space that we already have set up, which is I kind of like instead of setting up a separate process for this. OK, so you are the mana crafter. So if I ask for a recipe for mana powder, for example, um, let's go up top. Mana powder. OK, so you are redstone turns into mana power and we're going to do the redstone recipe. We don't need a mana pool. We're just redstone turns into mana powder. Pop down here. Place this in there. So now if I say, hey, I want 10 mana powder, will you do the thing? Look, it's doing the thing. And look, we got 10 more mana powder. Bam. Mana powder crafting automated. That was easy. Uh, so then we can just grab, we can do a recipe for mana pearls. Uh, except for we don't want the mana pool in there. And mana diamonds. And there we go. We have those two set to auto craft. I like that. What else can we do with a uh, mana pool? Let's look up mana pool. Anything else interesting? Now, we could automate the ones that require a catalyst, too, at some point. Like, if we want pasture seeds, we could do pasture seeds. You know what? Let's teach it. If we can automate it, why not? Let's do it. 
Um, so we're going to do pasture seeds. Again, don't need that, though. Do I have grass automated? Can I make grass easy? No. Don't have an easy way to make grass out of a botany pot, but I'm not making a botany pot. That's that's ridiculous. You don't need a botany pot for it. Uh, glass into mana glass. Mana glass is cool, but I don't know how often we're going to need mana glass. Um, okay, your mana powder, mana steel, mana infused string. I think we need that for maybe the ring of far reach. Sure. We'll do that one. We're gonna we're, we're getting all the things. Oh, there's 40 recipes for this. Okay, maybe we don't need to do go through all of this right now. A lot of this is gonna require the alchemy catalyst. It actually, it looks like pretty much everything else is alchemy catalyst, which we don't have. Um, and then the conjuration catalyst. Okay, so let's look at standard recipes. Iron, you're gonna turn into infestation spores, block of mana steel, force relay, tiny potato, and that's it. I don't know if I've ever used any of these other things. I guess we'll do the mana glass. If, if it ever comes up that we need mana glass, we'll know how to make it now. All right, so we should be good to go to throw these guys in there. The only thing that we have to manage with this is the mana pool. Um, and I don't really know what our best option for automating this is. What we can do though, to make it easier is make mana tablets, um, which I wanna get a mana band anyway, because I have the greater band of aura. I also have the ring of mana magnetization, but I don't have a mana band. So we can make a mana tablet. And with the mana tablet, we can transport mana from over there to over here, or we can use our cardboard box. This mana is gonna probably last forever for most of our rune crafting. So we really don't need to do too much with it. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, and then a band of mana is just mana steel. So I wanna do that. That way it can go in my ring slot. Just craft 64 of those, so we have them on hand, bam, and there's a band of mana. So now we can equip this. Uh, well, actually, we can drop this into here. And it is going to fill up because we have the band of aura. Uh, I need to change you to being into tablet mode. Ah, you got picked up, didn't you? Son of a gun. I may have to make that hopper hawk smaller. It should be filling up now, except for the hopper hawk's gonna keep picking it up. And if I do it over here, apparently the hopper hawk has a massive range, so it's gonna get picked up over here too by the hopper hawk. This should be blacklisted by default. Come on. And then switch you over to pool mode. Come on. There we go. Brr, curse you, hopper hawk. Okay, we're gonna make a petite hopper hawk. Add that to the to-do list. Alchemy Catalyst. Let's make that real quick. So what the Alchemy Catalyst does, it just changes the recipes of some of your um, drafts here. So we can put the uh, Alchemy Catalyst on under this one. And you can tell it's your Alchemy Catalyst one because it has a UI there or a, a little texture inside of there for the Alchemy Catalyst. Can I, if I were to grab this hopper hawk, can I throw it in there and then it convert? That would be nice. I don't think so, but it would be nice. We need to see what our friend has for trades. He did save us once with the blue blue ice, so no. Give me that back. What you got, buddy? Puffer fish, cyan die, cactus, sand, not a thing that I would like. So get out of here. Be gone. Be, be gone. Where'd you go? Get out of here. Thank you, sir. Bring back something better next time or else. Um, OK, so let's make up a petite hopper hawk. I'm going to make another hopper hawk and then I will uh, come back. We should be pretty good with all this. I just need to get the pedals and all that stuff. So let me make this petite one so it solves this problem. Um, BRB. OK, petite hopper hawk made. We can just combine it with our regular one. It's going to void out the other one, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Don't need it. So we can go ahead and place this on top of here. And now the range should be significantly smaller, which means we can actually take our band of mana and put it into this. And like you can see the that ticking in my hand is because we have that greater band of aura. So it's actually filling this up. So we really don't need to put it into here to do a fill, but it doesn't hurt. 
um, will get it started at least. And the nice thing with Batania is once it's in there and it's doing something, it won't, you know, it, it turns off the auto despawning. Um, I meant to be right clicking this. So it won't despawn while it's in there. So that's nice. Um, and then let's get an exporter. And we're going to set up, um, oh no, so let's do a regulator. Regulator upgrade. Yeah. And we're going to set up an exporter to go into this hopper. So we can just automate the production of the mana too. Okay, so you're there. We can grab coal blocks. And we can say, hey, you are going to, ex with a regulator upgrade, you're going to export coal blocks, but not 16. I only want you to have one in your inventory at all times. That way we're not blowing through all of our coal in here. So it should put one and then stop. So then that one will go into, it'll drop. And then that way we're not sitting there with, you know, five stacks of coal just always sitting in here whenever it needs to. It'll just export as the regulator upgrade will allow. I like that idea. So now that's automated, which means our mana here is automated. Band of mana is probably full. Yes, we can equip it. Now we have a bunch of mana available to us. And now... We should be able to make the things that I've been wanting to make outside of the Ring of Far Reach because we need to actually get into um, Alfine, but that'll be next episode. But we can make the Sojourner Sash. Sojourner Sash. Um, that's going to require a rune of air and a rune of earth. So let's go teach the system how to make the earth rune. That's you. Bam. Uh, the one thing I may not have is mushrooms. Now that I think about it, I need to see mushrooms. I have a few. How do we make mushrooms? Oh, we can we can make mushrooms like psh, done, uh, except for I just <laughs> didn't do my Sojourner Sash recipe. Let's try that again. So there's Sojourner Sash. Um, and then, oh, actually, I don't need a recipe for this. What I meant was Rune of Earth recipe. Okay. And everything else you can you can actually make. You can make the blocks of coal. You can do all of that stuff. So bam, bam, we're good. We can go ahead and throw this mushroom in here. Scroll slow, the Andrana. I don't know if that's what caused it earlier, but something funky broke the system. So then if I say Sojourner Sash, and I want this, we can control click. And it's going to do the thing. We can watch it. Ready? It's doopy 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 dooping right down there. It's doing the craft. It should right click and shada bing, shada boom. Shada bing, shada boom. Shada bing, bada bing, bada boom. You got triggered. Oh my goodness. Why is stuff not working today? Do it. button do it seriously do it is it because this is in bind mode though no, it was in bind mode earlier so i don't understand why that would matter but Are you kidding me oh it didn't drop the living rock oh i didn't put the living rock in the recipe did i oh i did Okay, why did it pick up the living rock? Does Is the petite not filterable? Oh my goodness, if the petite is not filterable, I swear. Are you kidding me? Oh, you know what it is? It is filterable. I just, there we go. That was my fault. Um, let's grab another piece of living rock. Okay. All right. We're learning. We're, we're, we're learning. We're getting through all this stuff. We're making things happen. Come on. Go right on top. Hit the button. Bruh, I swear. Whatever. Manually doing it. Um, we're going to request runes of earth again, just to be safe. Put those in there. So it completes the craft, but then request another set. 
I want to see this thing work again. There we go. Okay. I picked those ones up because I was faster than the thing, but bam, Rune of Earth complete. Crafting should be complete. Um, it's not because I picked them up, but it's okay. All right, cool. We're good. Sojourner Sash. Bam, bam. We can equip this, and now we move. We should, we'll should. we move faster, so we run faster, and we have step up. You see, uh, if I turn my jetpack off, we can walk up on top of this and then fall down. Just makes things a little easier. So if we're going here, we can walk on top. You know, we're not stuck on things anymore. Sojourner Sash, and we run just a little bit faster than we were before. See, we can climb up on top of things without having to jump. I can just go up and over, which is great. There is also upgraded sashes, which make you faster. So there is the Globetrotter Sash, which does the same thing, but just makes you faster. It requires a Gaia Spirit, which we do have, just saying. Um, and the Planet Strider Sash, I don't know what this one does, to be honest with you. Um, that'd be a good thing to ask the book, but we'll get there. Uh, we got some quests. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so the quest is telling you to make all of the different runes. So uh, we'll go ahead and actually, we will do that. We'll just teach the system how to do it because we're not doing it. Um, but I don't want to make sit here and make you guys watch me, you know, teach the system how to make these. So I'll do that in between episodes and pray that I don't break the system again. Not, seriously, I am like super scared of breaking refined storage again. I, I don't know what happened there. And I don't want it to happen again. Whatever it was that happened. So, yeah. But anyway, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. It's a little early. Um, I know it's going to be a little shorter of an episode, but it gives us enough time next episode to be able to start working on diving into Alfheim. We normally would have to get Terra Steel set up, but we actually have two ingots of Terra Steel from our... Uh, random rewards. So we have Terra Steel available to us, so we actually don't need to worry about actually setting it up. We can just craft the nuggets that we're going to need for it, which will allow us to make the Elven Gateway Core and the pylons and everything that we're going to need for this, so we can just dive straight into um, opening up the portal. Yes, we do need to make the Terra Agglomeration Plates. That's what it's called, right? I always forget. Um, Terra Agglomeration. Agglomeration agglomeration uh the terrestrial agglomeration plate we do need to make at some point because we're going to need more terra steel but for now we don't have to and we can automate this too it'll be easy we're going to need more mana we're going to need some sparks we're going to need a bunch of stuff before we end the episode though i, I see on my to-do list i forgot to make uh we did this we did this we did this we did this i want to go ahead and make this atomic disassembler so let's queue everything up except for apparently i never taught the system how to make the refined obsidian uh jetpack on please I just want to see what this is like because, um, well, everybody says it's good. Osmium compressor is really the only way to make this. I'm going to have to set up an osmium compressor. Really? With liquid osmium too? How do I get liquid osmium? I have to set up a purification chamber just for this liquid osmium so I can get an osmium compressor just so I can get refined obsidian ingots. Or I can put osmium in here. Um, okay, we can just put osmium in there. Uh, I'm not teaching you how to make that. Didn't you used to be able to make refined obsidian in a induction smelter? That's the recipe I want. Maybe I have an osmium compressor. No. Didn't I just request all this stuff too? Where you at, buddy? Give me the things. All right, so Osmium Compressor. And we'll request all this stuff again. Let's go ahead and set this up real quick. Maybe it won't be a short episode because we're having to do this extra extra stuff here. Um, we're going to place this. No, it's this here, this here. We need a connector because we have XNet set up to handle all of this. So we will connector this. Um, and if I take Osmium... Can I just put some osmium in there? Like if I put a stack of osmium in there, look, there we go. Liquid osmium. Ha ha, sucker. Try and make me set up a purification chamber. Uh, I'm sure the purification it is much more efficient with your osmium. I don't even need this crafter. Let's get a base crafter. I literally, the only thing I think I'm going to be making in here is this refined obsidian. Like, 
osmium compressor does what? Literally makes refined glowstone or refined obsidian. That's all I need this for. Oh, that feels like a waste of a machine. Just saying. Down here. Refined obsidian ingot. Is this recipe? Um, don't need that. You're just doing that to that. Yes. Go in there. Craft that. Do the thing and do it quickly. Uh, we're going to set... Oh, goodness. Stop. Uh, you, Osmium Compressor, are going to be an extract. Uh, and you can do stacks. And you're just going to come out of the back. Uh, you also need power. So we're going to insert power onto you from the basic universal cable. Probably should speed that cable up, to be honest with you. Um, and you are going to extract items. You're going to input to the top. Extract out the back. Yes. Okay. Cool. And then um, let's grab one of those uh, alloys. We're going to grab an infused. Let's grab a reinforced and atomic we're just going to upgrade this to full tier that way we don't have to worry about it we're going to start working on getting um full tier everything for this for a mechanism okay so atomic disassembler oh my goodness i just used i crafted i used the thing that i crafted for this that was my fault completely my fault let's go let's go let's go you kidding me? Do the thing. Bam. Okay. Atomic disassembler gathered. Okay. So we're currently in mode normal efficiency 20 uh, off. So you shift and scroll wheel. We have slow, fast vein mining, extended vein mining and off. So if we do normal. Okay. So it's like a, I got to hold for a few seconds. If we do slow, hold for a few more seconds. And if we do fast, instant break. Okay. I kind of like the normal so that we're not in, going super duper fast. And then can it break like logs? Like there's stuff that says no tool. Like, uh, for example, the red alloy wire. That says no tool at all. And then like with the flux board, it takes a minute. What if I use this? What if I set this to fast? still the same so it's not any 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 better necessarily in that regard but it is um a axe too so it'll take care of axing stuff for us so it does clear up one slot on our hot bar which i will take i'm okay with that um but yeah anyway managed to kill the last five ish minutes of the episode so you guys get a full episode out of this but this should yeah look it's gonna break all this stuff nice and quickly now and if we set it to fast mode which Oh, it was on fast mode. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Sweet. Um, but yeah, full episode. Yay. Anyway, that's it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.